right here if you want to watch the tutorial so you can see it's just four screens right what we want to do right now let's pretend that we want to send these four screens for the development right ideally you will need more documentation you're gonna need all your components defined like so everything so it's gonna be a separate page that with all your components and all your styling and everything that's okay but i'll show you a simple trick that i'm using to help me out and just create the the size and overall screen anatomy very quickly okay so if you want to watch this tutorial click right here and i will show you so this is the this is one on the application that i created and uh, that tutorial i will show you how i would do this mockups ready for dev okay so let's pretend that because ideally we account that all your paddings more or less would be consistent they have to be um, usually when you do create you have uh, a specific um, i'm using always eight baseline grid this is the best for um, for a mobile application but you can use it for desktop as well because it's very easy you know you don't have to transition from uh, 10 pixel to 8 when you do a mobile and so so you use one system for everything right let's get this screen right here right and let's let's move it to the right so now what we're gonna need for this uh, to work is just to go on the community and find eighth shapes spec okay so if we go right here we're gonna find this plugin and let's install it so once you install this plugin let's go back to our mockups now let's uh, select our frame let's go to plugins and let's run the the plugin right let's wait for a few seconds you can see right here it says the name of the page and all the anatomy that this page has all the stylings all the colors and the fonts uh, type scales everything every single layer if it's created the it created the this anatomy frame so now here on the right hand side you can see the number so if so if uh, developer is interested he can just check the number right here find the number on the left hand side he can see exact exact uh, frame uh, uh, styling that has been applied there which is amazing now let's scroll down which i think is probably the best um, feature that that this um, this plugin does is layout and spacing so now you can see every single element that it is in the, in the screen it shows all the spacing so you've got your button spacing then you get spacing in between the icons then you get spacing within the icon between the the font and the actual uh, icon and it shows you the difference so all these elements right here they're all green and this is red okay then we go move down the same applies for the second one then right here on your right on your left you can see the uh, the stylings as well that's been applied which i think this this is amazing so usually the the way um, developers work they go to they select the frame they go to inspect right here and they try to get the the styles and the css code from here but i think this is some this is this technique will help you a lot along with the other documentation that will, you will create because it took you just few clicks to do it that would definitely help for your designs in the end to look as you expected and as you design them on your uh, mockups so yeah now we can do it probably for the for the other uh, screen as well so let's say you want to do it for usually you're gonna do it for um for a um, few screens because more or less as i've said before your um, paddings and overall styling should be consistent across the the mockups okay so then ideally they should should be the same 
right now you can see we've created the anatomy for the second screen and it shows you every single styling and every single yeah, you can see the spacing between the cards you can see within the card so I think this is very important because developers they spend a lot of time just to go on the inspect tab and just right here I'll show you how they do usually do it so they go right here they select an elements uh, from my experience they never look on your layers never never have I seen them looking on the layers all they use is they use their their right hand inspect tab this is how they using this is how they get all their styling so when you do design make sure that all the layers and everything is grouped properly right and uh, the styling that it's uh, the colors and everything it's defined correctly here okay so what they basically do is just get right here get this element go to css just click copy and just paste it there and they define it and um, here we go this is our quick tutorial i think that would be very useful for you um, if you like this small but very i think it's very useful tutorial please uh, subscribe and like this video and share your thoughts in the comment section below thank you and have a great day